Hey, what's up you guys? You are watching the Kaggle Code Review Show and my name is Ilarian Garbazov. Today I want to talk about the JPEG image deblocking using deep learning. Cause few days ago I got the interview on the data science role where uh, the interviewer asked me about how to deblock JPEG image using deep learning. So let's do it together. I found this awesome article on the messworks.com. So let's start with the JPEG image deblocking using deep learning. This example shows how to train a denoting convolutional neural network DN CNN, then use the network to reduce JPEG compression um, artifacts in an image. So the introduction. Image compression is used to reduce the memory footprint of an image. One popular and powerful compression method is uh, employed by the JPEG image uh, format, which uses a quality factor to specify the amount of compression, reducing the quality value results in higher compression and a smaller memory footprint at the expense of visual uh, quality of the image. And you see it on the image. Um, uh, so uh, on the less, uh, left side of uh, is uh, less compression and on the right side is uh, more compression. JPEG compression is lossy, meaning that the compression process uh, causes the image to lose information. For JPEG images, this information loss appears as blocking artifacts in the image. As shown in the figure, more compression results in more information loss and stronger artifacts. Textured regions with high frequency content such as the grass and clouds look blurry. Sharp edges such as the roof of the house and the uh, guardrails atop of the lighthouse exhibit ringing. So you see it over here. JPEG deblocking is the process of reducing uh, the effects of compression artifacts in JPEG images. Several JPEG deblocking methods uh, exist, including more effective methods that use deep learning. This example implements one such deep learning based method that attempts to minimize the effect of JPEG compression artifacts. Uh, let's start with uh, the denoising CNN network. This example uses a built-in deep um, uh, feed-forward convolution neural network called DNCNN. The network was primarily designed to remove noise from images. However, the denoising CNN architecture can also be trained to remove JPEG compression artifacts uh, or increase image resolution. Th uh, the DN CNN uh, network is trained to detect the uh, residual image from the luminance of a color image. You see it over here. Uh, it's a residual image. Uh, uh, the luminance channel of an image represents the brightness of each pixel through a linear combination of the RGB uh, pixel values. In contrast, the two chrominance channels of an image are different linear combinations of the red, green, and blue pixel values that represent color difference information. Uh, denoting a CNN is trained using only the luminance channel because human uh, perception is more sensitive to changes in brightness than changes in color. So the difference between luminance and uh, compressed image is a residual image and we can uh, add the residual image to a compressed image and uh, we would uh, get the luminous uh, channel image it's awesome right guys and we can train our dns cnn um, network to uh, to the residual image as a, a label once the uh, DNCNN network learns how to estimate a residual image, it can reconstruct an uh, undistorted version of a compressed JPEG image by adding the residual image to the compressed luminance channel, then converting the image back to the uh, RGB color space. And in this article, you will find how to uh, train uh, the DNCNN. I wouldn't. Uh, tell you how to do it because it's uh, a lot of time uh, so you need to uh, download the training data uh, and in training data you find different images um, then uh, prepare training data uh, specify the JPEG image quality 
for each Britain training image the help of functions writes a copy of the uh, image with quality factor 100 and do all the stuff with the preparing the training data then you need to create random uh, patch extraction uh, for training uh, you would use uh, to get uh, data augmenter that specify the parameters of data uh, augmentation and you would use uh, data augmentation during training to override the training data which effectively increases the amount of available training data and uh, you would use all the functions uh, to uh, create uh, more training data and take patches from it uh let's talk about the uh model the um, our model dncnn uh layers of our model so our model would consist of convolutional uh, layers uh combined uh, with uh, batch uh, norm and the ReLU activation function so uh this uh, uh neural network consists of 59 uh, layers of convolution batch normal, uh, normalization and the final regression layer uh, with a mean squared error so uh, after that you need to train the network using a uh, stochastic gradient descent uh, with momentum optimization specify the hyper uh, parameter settings uh, and training a deep uh, network is time consuming, uh, so you need to accelerate the training by specifying a high learning rate. Uh, train the network. Uh, uh, and uh, after the training, you can use uh, denoising CNN network to remove JPEG uh, compression artifacts from new images. It was a rough discuss of a paper on a JPEG image deblocking using deep learning and uh, you can uh, see all the article by the link that I would uh, give you in the description to this video. Thank you. Psst, psst. Guys, I really need your feedback. If you like my videos, push the like button, subscribe and give me a comment. What can I do for you next?